Welcome to class. Today is going to be a yin style practice. So we're doing three or four yin poses, which we will hold for about three minutes each. And then we will finish up with some gentle breath work. So this is not a strong practice. This is not necessarily energizing. This is more grounding, relaxing, and a super peaceful practice. So if you want to get comfortable with a hoodie or a blanket or any props, pillows, bolsters, Whatever you need for this class or you might want to use for this practice, feel free to grab that now. We will then begin our practice today on our back in kind of a reclined butterfly. So find your way onto your back, bring the feet together. And if you want to put a bolster or so underneath your back, feel free to do so. I would just lay straight on my back so it's more like a Suptabhana Konasana, like a Shavasana on the back with the feet together. So this is a practice to let go. It's also a quick practice today. So we are easing into the poses. We're giving ourselves time to melt, breathe, arrive. Feel free to close your eyes. I will also talk slower and talk a little bit less and give you some more space for silence and for introspection and going deeper into your heart. Let the knees fall open, the legs fall open like a book. The arms are alongside your body. Close your eyes if they're not already and breathe. About 30 more seconds here, so two or three nice, slow, deep breaths as the body starts to open up and relax. We're letting go of that tension. It's the invitation and opportunity to focus more on the breath. Notice the airflow coming in and out through the nose. Use your hands to help your legs come back together. And you can hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. And then rock forward, come up to a seat. Take your time, no rush. I will rotate on the mat, but you can stay where you are. We're coming into a seated straddle forward fold, also called dragonfly in yin yoga. So you bring the legs wide apart. Keep the legs now relaxed, the feet relaxed, and just let the upper body melt forward. Although I say just, it might be very challenging for you, but we, again, we're not trying to go deep or go into a deep stretch or go anywhere, really. The goal is to relax. So the more you relax the body, uh, the more the body will usually open up. So the Keywords here are letting go. So 
Sometimes we need to let go of the control and then things will fall into place. With this practice and also with life. Oftentimes as soon as we let go of trying to control the outcome, then the universe will align the things in a way that are in your favor. Because you are then moving and living in trust that everything will be okay. I like to always say or used to say everything will will be okay in the end and if it's not okay yet it's not the end trust in the process and everything will unfold let the body open relax Let the breath be steady. Observe the sensations in your body. Enjoy them. Enjoy the physical sensations that these shapes can create. We tend to do more of the things that feel good for us and so if you find the sweet spots in this practice where it just feels good, it will be the driving force, the motivation for you to keep going is just because you feel good. Three or so more breaths, or about 30 more seconds here. Slowly push the hands or walk the hands back. Push yourself back up. Nice and easy, very gentle. Use your hands to grab underneath the knees to help bend the legs. And when you're ready, shake out the legs first and then transition onto your belly. For Sphinx Pose. So we're coming onto the forearms. Bring the legs wide apart. Untuck the toes. Try to relax into this. After this long forward fold, we're now coming into a back bend. So really take the time to ease into it. Take it nice and slow. We're here for about two minutes only. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Look straight ahead. So we're still in a with this back bend in an alert position but still you can relax into it especially with the breath I think Sphinx pose and seated straddle forward fold are my two favorite yin poses, they just target so many important areas in the body. And they just feel fantastic for me, in my body at least. At this, at this moment it's also always changing, so just like life is always changing, changes in fact the only constant in life. So resisting uh, change really means resisting life. You need to ride the wave and go with it. Go with the change, adapt, stay flexible. That means the practice is also always changing. And if you feel like you want to add something in to, do it, 
into today's practice, feel free to do so. Pause the video, add something else into it, and then continue with me. Last three breaths. slowly release, come down with the chest and relax your forehead on your arms, uh, on your hands or on your forearms. So you can either just relax the head down onto the hands or onto the forearms. I will stay lifted a little bit so just so that you can hear me better. So I will just hang out with you here on the belly. But you should have your forehead on the mat, on your hands or on your forearms. This one is called crocodile pose and it's a very nice pose because you are on the belly and there's weight pushing down onto the belly and so when you're breathing through the nose and specifically breathing more into the belly there is some resistance to it because you have to in order to breathe in you have to push your body weight up from the floor so it's crocodile is this position is a very nice pose to practice belly breathing so if you are one or someone that wants to breathe more into the belly and less into the chest and you find it challenging, then spend five or ten minutes just in crocodile pose with the head down each day and breathe through the nose. It's a very nice way to practice belly breathing. And so we can do just that for the next minute or so. I will be quiet and you just enjoy deep breaths. slowly release push yourself back maybe through a child's pose or half a child's pose something that feels good we're coming into a seated position cross-legged seat or you can sit on the heels whatever works for you whatever is comfortable you will finish with just a few rounds of Nadi Shodana, alternating nostril breathing. We're using the right thumb and the right ring finger. The right thumb to close the right nostril, the right ring finger to close the left nostril. I have a tutorial on this specific breathing exercise up here in the corner. You can click there or just later when the video ends. You can go to the breathwork playlist and there's a selection of about, I think, 10 or so different breathing exercises which I do and breathe as well almost every day. And they're very beneficial to help you breathe better. Exhale all the air out. Use the right thumb, close the right nostril, inhale through the left side. At the top, close the left nostril, open the right, exhale through the right side. Inhale through the right nostril. At the top, close the right nostril, open the left, exhale through the left. That's one round. Let's do four more. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right.
exhale through the left. Three more rounds on your own. Just keep the breath flowing, a normal breath through the nose in and out without lengthening, without controlling, without changing it much. We're just redirecting the breath through the nostrils, left and right. But we're not necessarily controlling the breath in length or depth. Last round. Breathe deeper into the belly. And finish up your round by exhaling out through the left nostril. Keep your eyes closed, sit tall, relax both hands somewhere where it's comfortable, on the knees, on your thighs or in your lap. And simply enjoy sitting here for just a minute or so. Enjoy the breath, the sensation of the breath, the air flowing in and flowing out. Bring the hands to the heart, the palms touch, and thank yourself for showing up. Thank yourself for making time today to start the video, roll out the mat. Thank yourself for prioritizing yourself. It's so important to make time every day to move, breathe, meditate, to be in stillness, to read, to take the time to play so you can be very proud of yourself. Thank you for allowing me to share my practice with you today, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. With love and gratitude, Namaste.